You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. America, we are the ones who are the freest ones. That's the words of that. I don't know any lyrics America, of anything. America, we are the ones who are the freest ones. We pledge our hate to everyone, and we are the best. It's the best. We're the best. We're the best one. Welcome back, Rudy Welcome Jules. Back. You took a class. You took a test. What happened, Andre? I took a test. I took a test. What? Wow! Did you get a hundred percent? I did. You got straight A's? <laughs> of course. Uh, he took the American test and Look got at straight him. A's. Look, Look at how at cute him. he looks there. Look at him. <laughs> he's doing, he's pledging his allegiance yeah, and to this country. The cameraman's going, that guy has, his neck just attaches to the face. There's no chin. <laughs> look at this no mask. It's and look blend. at the Asian guy behind you. Mask. Interesting. Everybody Interesting. Has a mask. Look at this dude. You're giving him. up your Spanish heritage. Yeah. You're one of us, Papa. <laughs> You're one of us. Welcome. One of us. us. One, one of us. us. One, red, white, and blue. <laughs> American, red, white, blue. What about you? You gonna take the Clint test? No, I don't want to be American. Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! Piece of shit! Get the fuck, fuck, out, of here. Out, of get the fuck out of our country! Fucking... Immigrant <laughs> scumbag! Yeah, you bastard! Call ICE! Call, Call ICE, ICE on the right show. now, dude! We're gonna separate from your mom. <laughs> I what have do you a think? visa. It doesn't matter. We're gonna put you in a cage. Oh, girl. I have a visa too. I have a Mastercard, a visa. <laughs> I have an American Express. You're not special. Yeah, I got gold shit. I don't even know what fucking brands they are. Mm -hmm. They're gold cards, man. And they got buckets and buckets of money on them. Wake up, lady. Wake up. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a Porsche um Macan. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Last night, Bobby in asshole. the hallway. Me, Griff, and Bob were in the hallway. And he goes, uh, Bob comes up, he goes, <laughs> I'm gonna buy a Porsche. And I was like, No, you're not. He goes, I'm gonna buy a Porsche, I'm gonna buy a Macan. 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 It's a Macan. And, then, and you go, that's, go, I go ahead and get it. That's not a real car. I said it's not a p real Porsche. And first of all, it's Porsche. It's not a real Porsche. It's not, okay. But it's not a, but but the Macan is the SUV. It's not that big of a, it's fine. Good. Get it. I want you I know, to get I know, it. But, but what I'm saying is. If you, you bought a 911, I'd be like, that's insane. You have no business driving that. Well, that's why I'm, see, I'm trying to bridge a gap between your fancy and my ghetto -ness. I'm not fancy. Oh my god, bro! You're gonna make me so rageful right now. Racist? Rageful <laughs> and racist. <laughs> Let me say something. I'm not gonna reveal things on this podcast because you get angry, right? But I don't I know get any You're angry. blushing a little bit right now, but I'm gonna say something. I'm not blushing. I'm. You have I'm really flush. fancy shit. I don't have anything. I've been fancy. to your house. It looks like a fucking showroom at at IKEA. <laughs> I know you've said it's this beautiful. before. And, First and of all, you have, and you have fancy cars, cars that I right? You're just shaking your head. So what I'm saying is, is that I drive a Prius that other people, like poor people drive. First of all, you have an Audi at the house. You're going to buy a McCann. It's my and girlfriend's Audi. And your Audi. house is bigger than mine. So you're wrong. It's not bigger. Yes, it is. It's just fancier. No, it's bigger and fancier. Yeah, we, we live on a hill. You live in flat gra grounds with- You see what he's doing now? You see the juxtaposition? <laughs> you're a piece of shit. I'm not a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm you live in the Hollywood king. Hills and I live I'm in the flats. I'm a reality flats. guy. No, I'm a blue collar guy. Who are your fucking bro, neighbors? Bro, you want to Who talk are your fucking neighbors? You want to talk who are your fucking neighbors? Because I know your neighbor's a famous fucking director. No, he just happens to be a producer. A famous producer. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Yeah, Hollywood Nights, baby, 2022. And who's the other neighbor? Who's the other neighbor? He used to be a writer for Babylon 5. Oh, cool. <laughs> Babylon 5? What is the fuck? Oh, he has a house in the fucking hills. Yeah. So he's rich. Yeah. My you know neighbors, your neighbors? My neighbors who's are your neighbors? people. Yeah. People. <laughs> people that own pro probably. Yeah, they bought a house 30 fucking years ago. Okay. They're just humans. Yours are rich Hollywood. See, America, no, don't America listen to this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> he me, is a Hollywood on, scumbag. Oh, all right. And he lives in the hills next to Hollywood scum. I live near human beings that work jobs. You play golf! I love golf. I know. Isn't that fucking high high up? Yeah, yeah, What? Yeah. Golf is it, it, cheap. No, it's high up, You can dude. play golf for fucking 20 bucks. I golf play is ping not... pong. That's like an everyday, man. That's an Asian thing. You guys are I all know, supposed to play ping pong. kind of Asian. You're right. <laughs> what I'm saying, though, is, is that I have I have anyone knows, as Sam Tripoli, as anyone at the comedy store. Of all the people. What, like, I know, because I crashed my Prius into his car. Oh, right. You remember that? Yeah, right. I no, do. I purposely did it. I know. I rammed it. But my point is, is that um, everyone at the comedy store, ask anybody that parks the cars there, anybody, what kind of car does Bobby drive? They'll say it's the worst of the worst. Yeah, because, it's because, because you don't care about stuff. You don't take care of nice things. And because I'm sober again, 
and because I'm trying to treat myself better, because I'm trying to treat myself better. God bless. I I decided to get a better car and a nicer car to treat myself better. And then I did all this research and going, you know, what's going to work for me and my family? And I <laughs> I took a risk. I, I saw you and Eric Griffin last night. And I go, I'm going to get, I'm so proud. I'm going to get a Porsche Macan. And you guys laughed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed right in my fucking face. I'm going to go with you to get it. Yeah. I want to go with you to get it. But you're going to laugh at the dealer. It's going to be a whole thing. No, I don't want to, I don't want to be shamed by it. What I want to do, yeah. honestly, I'm being serious. Yeah. I want to get you a good deal. So will you take me? I don't get... give a fuck about the deal, baby. <laughs> what does that sound like? <laughs> what? what a fucking rich no, I, that's privilege. What it is. You know what I, I said? To, like... You know what I said to Bobby last night? Yeah. I go, gas is like seven dollars a gallon. He goes, I don't give a that's fuck. That's not what I said. And Bobby goes, I'll pour some out after I fill up. <laughs> I don't like haggling. When I go to Tijuana and the kids go chicle, right? I go, how much? They go fifty dollars. I'll get it. That's for one piece. That's what a rich guy I would say. I don't know. I don't negotiate. I don't like haggling. When the little tiny Mexican kids go chicle, chicle, and I go, how much? And they say three dollar, and I go one. They go no, and I steal them, and I run away with the kid. <laughs> I know you do. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, first sorry, of all, that's not even funny. There's a myriad a of funny. things happening. Yeah, it's it's Andres's birthday today. Mm, mm. Do you know this? Mm. He is an American mm. citizen. And Zimba. And also, coincidentally, this is our St. Patrick's Day episode, <laughs> so it's my holiday. It's Fancy's birthday, and he's an American citizen. Mm. Do you have anything you want to say to Fancy? Um, blue and red looks good on you, but. Green doesn't look good on you, Tito Andrew. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Yeehaw! I love it, I love it. That's You know what, Jules? You know, I'm wearing this for the holiday. Yeah, you don't look good. What, does it look bad? You look like a ghetto leprechaun. A ghetto leprechaun? Yeah, yeah, like a leprechaun that couldn't get the regular suit. What a gold at. Yeah. <laughs> what a motherfucking who, who gold you, at. Yeah, but instead of golds, you have like pesos <laughs> in a little cup at, at the end of your rainbow. I'm the ghetto leprechaun? Yeah. That's that's my favorite guy. I want to know where to go at. I'm going to run a back hole and uproot that tree. I want to know where to go at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know that's what? So Honestly, this yeah. is Brian Jones. The best. Yeah. The best. Look what my holiday brings out. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, humor. We can take a joke. Yeah. This is the best part about St. Patrick's Day. It's about drinking. It's about eating corned beef and cabbage. It's about having fun, making fun of Irish people. We can take a hit. No, but it's easy. We all, we take the hit. We're ugly. We're orange. We're pale. We fight. Yeah, we'll take the hit. You guys can't take the hit. You say anything bad about Asians, everyone's up in arms. Oh, really? You're going to bring up stop Asian hate right now? That's yeah. crazy. Start it up. I say That's rah, fucking rah, rah, crazy. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> You're, no, white people? Oh no, no, no. Irish aren't white. We're a different breed. We're our own thing, man. We're, look at me. You guys are so white, though. Who looks like me? Nobody. Bill Burr. Yeah, an Irish fucking guy. Is Bill Burr Irish? Yes. Okay. What do you mean? Um, who else is another one? I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> to Andrew, is your butthole red or you dark? You want to see it? <laughs> I'm going to show it to he you. No! Not, did, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked for it. Bob. Yeah, yeah. Did she ask? She did ask. But I don't want to see it. Just look. Just look. Where? How about this? I take a photo of it and then you can see it. <laughs> just look. Yeah, just look. Wow. Just... Ah, did you watch away? Yeah, you asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What color is it? Look, run, just real just fast. Look, just look, look real fast. Quick. What is? It? What color is it? Look fast, Rudy. I look fast. Want to see mine? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What color is yours? You color mine. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, spread it open. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what color? What color? What Brown, color? right? What color? Because I just took a shit. <laughs> yeah. What, what color, color was? was mine? Yours is white. 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 Very white. What's mine? Dark. Dark. Exactly. <laughs> Dark. It's forbidden. It, it, that's a cave. It, it's a forbidden place. And let me say something. When you go inside there. <laughs> was there poo? Yeah. yeah, definitely poo. 100%. But there's other things too, like matchbox cars. Yeah, there's little tiny there's things a ring shoved in there. inside of there. There's a little ring in there. Somebody's wedding ring is in there, right? <laughs> there's fingernails from Kalila. Loose fingernails, matchbox cars. Yeah. And also, there's one cigarette in there in case of emergency. Break for emergency. <laughs> yeah. Have, uh, you ever read, have you ever read hemorrhoids? Mm -mm. Never? I, I, mean, I mean, you know, the thing is, is the forbidden place... <laughs> My little dark forbidden, forbidden, forbidden place. I've had them. Yeah. Um, you know, there's black magic going on in there. Uh, there's a little bit of <laughs> doc, doc is in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> little doc. There's a little bit of doc. His little magic is in there. Raise your hand at the studio if you've had a hemorrhoid. Pete, I know you've had I've never had one. No, I never have. Fans? Nope. You? <whistles> I've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> because of stress? Because of you. What? The first week on the show, I got three hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Really? They all popped up. 
What is a hemorrhoid? Is it a bump? Bap, bap, bap. That's what where Whitney it? got it from. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. What is it? It's an inflammation of the uh, skin on the anus. Mm. And what it does is it's like a str- it's like a it's like a pressure stress bump. It's like I think it's the muscle. It's your it's intestine coming out. It's the what? Intestine? Yeah. Intestine? Say that again. <laughs> intestine. Yeah. Look at there it is. And oh, that's a- so it's like when you have when you make love to a girl and you, she has a little pink tail with, with a little tube sticking out. That's is a that hemorrhoid. What, that's a hemorrhoid. That's exactly right. I love when that happens though. <laughs> right? Because I'm is that a mole or is that you know what I mean? I mean I love it. So I've had those before. Man, is oh, it because man. of stress? Can be. It can be from pushing too hard when you poop. It can become. Yeah. It can be from going too much. It can be from going too little. There's a million reasons that I get them. Because I've always had like Lately, it's bad been diet. You. It's been you. <laughs> I don't think so. My doctor literally said, "We can't explain this." <laughs> Do you spend an hour a week with a Korean guy by chance? Yeah. Okay. That's. I crazy. said you better believe that's it. That's crazy. He, that, he, he never said, said that. that. Really? Yes. That's sad. Doctor Wong said that. <laughs> He's talked to you as an Asian guy too. <laughs> yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't like Korean dudes. Yeah. That, that, maybe it's coming from his point of view. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? It's not valid. He led me down that path. Yeah. I said I do do a podcast with a Korean guy. He goes, "This is where the Chinese guy." He probably supports a Russian guy too. So what's going on in Ukraine? I get it. Fucking not funny. Look at this. I did an interview this morning with. Yeah. Fo- I wish I could have taped it. Right. I did a Zoom with Fox, like local Fox uh, syndicate for Vegas because I'm playing Vegas. Yeah. This weekend. Yeah. And. The guy go and it was cutting in and out. You know those TV, they're terrible. They're so hard to do. You do this through Zoom? Yeah, because I, I couldn't be there. Yeah. So he's like, I'm zooming and it's cutting in and out. And he goes, We tried to look for a clip of you being family friendly, and we couldn't find it in your stand up, <laughs> yeah. and we definitely couldn't find it on your podcast. Yeah. And I said, Yeah, this is not this isn't for kids. The show is for grown ups. Then he goes, Well, what if someone comes to a show, this must happen, and they don't like what they hear? I go, Well, they can Get out. Leave. Yeah. And I said, you know what else I'll do? Huh. I'll refund their money. I'll give them back their money if they didn't like it. And I'll buy them a first class plane ticket to Russia because this is America <laughs> and we like freedom. <laughs> Bitch. Go fancy. Sing. Absolutely. <laughs> Sing. Give me the America. Fr- give me an American song. Go fans. Oh, see. Can you see? Mm-hmm. That's all you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we let you into this country as a fucking citizen, and that's all you know. I know I had a cheat card. Did you, Did you ever- really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you cheated through the test? Yep. Fans, fucking call somebody. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Call somebody. Can we report you know somebody? Him to yeah, fucking- let's report him. Should we report it's him? Too, to ICE? too late. I mean, you gonna- have the card. I do. No, wait. What does this mean? You don't. You, you wait. You are now a, an, a legit American citizen. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Wait a minute. Did you really cheat? No. You you took the test legitimately. Yeah, I'm gonna call an ICE agent right now. I'm serious because this isn't cool. You're fucked. Hey, you laughing now? <laughs> I know Marcus. He's fucking mean, dude. He's mean as shit. He's it by the book. You have to put it down. You put that down. Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> yes. Marcus. I got a guy down. here. Mark. Hello. Sorry about that. Hey, buddy. I have a yeah. guy here named. I got these kids. I got these kids trying to play with these. You don't get pencils. Hello? Now I'm a little scared. Yeah. Marcus, I have a guy here who's who claims to have gotten his American citizenship today, and he... Yeah, it, yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're basically handing those things out. Good luck. <laughs> and he tells me that... He tells me he cheated on the test to get into the country. He's standing right here. What can we do to get him back out of here? He's a Spanish, Spanish citizen, but now he's American. Is he gay? <laughs> Does it help? Does it help if he is? Big. Big time. Big time. Yes. He is. Let him stay. <laughs> You're good to go. Thank you, Marcus. Love you. All right. No pencils. These, these kids yeah. with the pencils, dude. It's yeah. nuts. He has 15 kids, and he, he teaches them. He's homeschooling. Yeah. And he just throws pencils all over the I've been in their house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living room. And he's just he always yelling. It's kind of nuts. Drop the pencils. Really irresponsible. Yeah. Did you um, ever go on the road and have to do in-house morning shows? All the time. What do you mean? I did it a thousand times. Yeah. How did you feel those mornings? I would bomb every single day. I would. I'd wake up with such dread. I hated it. Hated it. Hated it. And because I was so edgy and I, everything out of my mouth was so filthy, I no one ever like it. Like it never moved tickets. No, it no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. So the club owner would be like, yeah, nothing. Yeah, no, you did, but yeah. it was thanks for doing it. Yeah, so I just stopped doing it. They don't want you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you said I don't look good in green at all. You look... It looks like shit. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's not my color. <laughs> so um, you're right though. Honestly, some, it's not for me. I have it's, some news. You're more pale. I'm That's more weird. pale now with this. Yeah. I have some news I want to share. <laughs> Please. I've been doing some soul searching. Rudy, you think it looks that bad, huh? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Andreas. Go ahead. Um, I think I'm definitely going to adopt. I'm waiting for the joke. There's no joke. You're going to adopt a kid. Yeah. You really are. I think I'm going <laughs> to. What? <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I'm not. Please don't. I think it's great. I did some soul searching. <laughs> Why are you? What? Because... What? It's like a stringent <laughs> process. I'm gonna start, but it but you have to qualify. <laughs> well, if I don't get qualified, well, I'm gonna lie just like he did lie on the test. I'm, I there's know, gonna be some. I'm I know, gonna, but I I think becoming a citizen is less. First of all, I'm gonna work out. I'll look good. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'll just look good. I don't want to look like a slob, right? So I'm gonna I, I'm getting pedicures done. Do you know that? No, on on your not on my fingers, but my, your you feet. See my foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so. guess. Sadly, <laughs> you're painting them. No, I'm getting, I went to the, the the professional. Who painted? What came out on the table there of your foot? What is it? <laughs> Probably just debris. <laughs> but debris. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um. So wait a minute. You think getting in good shape, looking good, is going to help you adopt a kid? There's a variety of things I'm going to do. That's I think the Porsche Macan is a part of the. Oh, that's why yeah, you're doing yeah, the Macan, yeah. right? So Have could, you spoken to Kyla about this? Yeah, Does we've she, been talking about it, and she says let's adopt. She's, she's not, I don't know. <laughs> you but really want to do this? I really do, and I'll t I'll tell and what I'll tell you what, what I'm doing. So I'm getting my nails done now. You know, I've been losing weight. Can you tell? Why are you laughing? It no, really hurts me I when think you this do. is awesome. Stop I think, laughing. No, I'm not laughing. All right, it really hurts when you do. Okay, I won't laugh. Right, it's a dream of mine. So, um. What I've been watching, why are you laughing? I'm not. All right. So what I've been doing is I've uh, I've been not playing video games as much. <laughs> so at nights I go, um, mm -hmm. after an hour and a half, I, I tell the guys at Warzone, my, my my fire team is called the Silly Billies. Oh, Silly Billies. Yeah, so I go, Silly Billies, you were a part of it too. You I was a Silly Billy guy. Yeah, but I go, um, I'll go, I'm all, I'm done. And they're like, really? It's only midnight. I go, I know, but I might be a father. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Which and I, one? Did, I did I tell you that in the car? Yeah, but are you gonna take care of it? That's yes, right. 100%. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, that's I a think really good question. I'm gonna take care of it. You're gonna be out of the house. I need room. Yeah, he doesn't. You're room. out. Yeah, you're out. But and you gonna, said who's you, gonna take care of it? I'm gonna take care of it. You and, don't know how. And you said that you wanted to live on your own. You're doing good, right? Hit him. Hit him hard. And why do you want to live on your own? Because you want numbers. Huh? Yeah, you want? <laughs> Don't fucking play dumb. Don't play dumb with me. You went man. to a party and you got COVID because yeah. you're trying to catch some dick. No, <laughs> you fucking dirtbag. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> you want to move out because yeah. you want to become. I want to move out because to Bobby is annoying. <gasps> oh, here we go. Really, you... how annoying am I? It was I annoying when you broke my car. Mm. I... Did you hear what happened? I you... didn't break your car. You used it last night and then I used it this morning and then it broke down. Oh really? But see, when I was driving it at <laughs> night, right? It was smooth, it was flowing no. smooth as a whistle, no, my friend. No, because when I turned it on, it said maintenance required. What did you do? Did you, ma did you maintain it? Mine didn't say no, that. No, because I was going to school. Well, you didn't fucking, it was required and you didn't do it. Yeah, Whose fault is when that? When it says maintenance required, you gotta get it fucking required. You, you think the machine is lying to you? But I can't skip class. Oh, fuck oh, it's you. Just look at Asians. Yeah. Asians. I, cannot I have to go to class. I have to go to class. <laughs> go to, go get it. I'm going to fuck up done. the curve. <laughs> you going to fuck up the curve? No. Get the car fixed because I gave it to you. Now you feel bad, so apologize. Okay, she won't. All right. Wow. So are you mad at me right now? No. Okay. So you're going to move out because no. you want to be free and catch D all that? day long. I want to, yeah. I wanna oh, move out. And then when I adopt a kid, right? Simone or whatever the kid's name is. Oh, I thought you said it was going to be Samoan. A Samoan kid will be bigger than me. Everyone's every kid's bigger than you. <laughs> That's true, but he's just going to be much bigger. Look at that. Yeah, that could be your son. I know. And I don't know how to play rugby. You know what I mean? I don't know how to uh, roast a pig. But also, maybe this is good growth for you. Maybe you do need a son who's bigger than you. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's more Asian. I, I want to go outside of my race. I'm going to come in. Great. Let's just. I'll come in. Yeah. And uh, so, I open the door. Hello. Bobby, hi. Well, let me start over because I'm not going to say hello. Why? What's wrong with saying hello? <laughs> because I wanted to be a different guy. 
But you're you. I don't know. I'm going to just be myself, but like a little bit more serious. Do whatever you would do if this is the real fucking. All right, here we go. All right, this is my associate. We're this is my associate. No, I want to be the kid. You got it. (laughs) Oh, you think the kids just in the fucking room? (laughs) They are. All right. Well, take it then. They're not going to do that. Well, yeah, because they want to know if the kid has any interest in you. (laughs) Doesn't that happen later? I don't know, but let's find out. All right. (laughs) Good evening. It's four in the morning. <laughs> what are you doing in our fucking it's office? Not, it's dark. Yeah, but, it's 4 a.m. So Why are you here? I made the assumption that it was evening. I apologize. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? you? Good morning. Um, hello. Are you open? I mean, you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't see a sign um, whether it was open or closed, but I know this is an adoption agency. Am I correct? It is, but we're usually not open until, you know, like May at I, least. Should I come back? Well, you're here now, so okay. wh- what would you like? Hello. Hi. My name is Mr. Lee. Hi, Mr. Lee. Good to meet and you. And I would love to adopt a child, if you may. You're looking to adopt? It's a long, arduous process. That's I mean, fine. I... Does cash help? How much cash do you have, sir? <laughs> a couple grand. It's more, much, much more than 100 that. hundred grand? Much more than that. A couple hundred grand. That's fine. That's close. I have a couple <laughs> hundred grand. What color of child are you looking for? I don't want core core. Okay, so you want either black or white? No white. No white. No. We have an awful lot of whites Because back if there. I get a white, I just know this, because I watch a show called Long Last Family, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of white people on the show, and so it's like, I just want to know who, you know, my biological parents are. When they had a good life with the adoptive parents, that's fucking betrayal. Okay. All right, so. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I feel. I don't know like if I'm not, is... I, Sir, yeah. your energy right now, <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm not going to get one right now. My energy. <laughs> Bespoke Post. I'll tell you something right now, man. I love the Box of Awesome. Box of Awesome is great. Let me say something. During the holidays, like Christmas or my birthdays and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. I love opening up a Box of Awesome because they know what I like. And I open it up and it's like the kind of soaps I like. Right, Nick. They have cool knickknacks in knick-knacks. these boxes. This bo- Bespoke Post and their new seasonal lineup of must-have box of awesome collections. They partner with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every single month. I got to tell you, what I got was the uh, the pocket knife. I think it was the Frontier package, is what it was. Right? Isn't that what it was? Yeah. It was uh, developed in 1980. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's become synonymous with French design and utility. Pablo Picasso used the number eight to carve his sculptures, and Navy officer Eric Talaberry. An art to explore, Jean Louis Etienne, a record sending sailor, uh, were all, swore by theirs. Okay, this Frontier pocket knife, which I loved, I used, and I got, and I might, um, I, I love, might bring it. I, I love bring the hawker. I love the hawker. Oh, you do? I use it all the time. Traditional blacksmithing methods used in the Thai Burma wear. Mm-hmm. This knife is forged, ground stamped, and finished by hand exactly the way it would have been 100 years ago. It's amazing. We have, they have a bunch of outdoor gear. I have their decanter and their whiskey glasses they sent me on the first time I got a Box of Awesome. And to get started, all you have to do is take the Box of Awesome quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers are going to help them pick the right uh, Box of Awesome just for you. Get Now you can get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code Bad, Bad Friends. Friends at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code is Bad Friends. For 20% off your first box, boxofawesome.com. Code Bad Friends. Ray Raycon. Hey, I go running <laughs> a lot. No, I go running a lot. And yeah. I know you don't run. But, but, I, I, but I, I know do, you do the Peloton. I do the Peloton. And I'm not kidding. I called you and you joked around. You said, you called me. I'm on my I'm on my Peloton. I have my Raycons in. I was running with Raycons in. I love the Raycons. And the world's converged. When you and I have Raycons at the same time, you know what I mean? My genitals just tingle. Do they? Yeah. Well, then you know <laughs> because it's Because I think because it's the future. It is the future. Raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio with you because no matter how much you shake things up, literally no matter how much you shake, they're not going to fall out of your ears. They stay snug. When I see other people wear other earbuds from different brands. I boo. I go boo. I boo to them. And it's also the usually white and it sticks down. Raycon you, they when you when people see they think you're from the future. They go, what are you? What are you from the yeah, Jetsons? Yeah, yeah. little <laughs> no. little tiny little earbuds that stick in there. They or got Terminator eight hours of playtime, thirty two hour battery life, and they're priced just right. They're actually so much cheaper than these stereotypical earbuds that you get that are wireless and overpriced. It's half the price usually of other premium audio brands. It's, it's, it's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have have over forty eight thousand five star reviews. It's insane right now. Uh, Bad Friends listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash badfriends. That's buyraycon.com slash badfriends to save 15% off on Raycon. Buyraycon.com slash badfriends. You really want to fucking adopt a kid? I really do. Bobby Lee wants to adopt a kid. Because I, I, I'll i tell you why. Can I be, I'll be honest with you. Please. There's a show that I've been binging 
from season one to season six. 90 Day Fiance. No. Long Lost Family. This is real? Bring this up. I've never heard of this in my life. Yeah. What's Long Lost Family? And is it all about people that got adopted? Yeah, it's basically um, a biological, not by uh, an adopted kid or parents looking yeah. for their son, daughter, their, their or birth, mother, oh, father, right? That's fucking so sweet. But it's crazy because some of them are so heartbreaking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and so sad. It's a great show, and you cry in every episode. Mm-hmm. And I realized that, um, you know, a lot of kids, they just need a loving home. They need love. Yeah, and for me, it's like, I wouldn't even, like, when they... When they're curious about their biological parents, I'd be I'd keep all the information and I would help them find, you know, their bi- and then you know what what is this? It's just me being. I'm just I, I, I right now when I when I'm more real. You're being real right, right now. Right now, I guess get a little jittery. Okay, because, so one of my best friends from yeah, college was yeah. adopted. Uh huh. And this is a true story. Uh huh. And his mom, his biological mom, one day reached out because of Facebook. Facebook is this way to connect to anybody in the world. Mm. She DM'd him. And was like, hey, were you born in this location at this year? Because I think I'm your mother. Yeah. And if you want to meet up, let me know. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Do you think he met up with this woman? Yes. What about you? Yes, Pete? Yes. Yeah. No. Why? He, I think he had such a wonderful life with his adopted parents who are the fucking greatest people I've ever met. I yeah. love them. Yeah. And that was his mom and dad to him. And he didn't want to meet up. And by the way. He's a fucking adopted kid. He has every right to feel that way. You don't know what that's like, so we can't. Ju- I don't judge. I can judge by watching the show. I can. You can't. I will. You can't because you've never lived that experience. But here's the thing: you, you don't know what it's like. He doesn't know the circumstances in which his in, own life. No, listen. Will you listen for he one know, and make know, that face here that you make? Right. <laughs> he doesn't know the circumstances in which why his parents gave him he, up. He does. She he, she told him. She told. She said why. Why. Because she got pregnant really young, and it was with a guy she was seeing, and she right. couldn't. She didn't want to have the baby. Like when a kid, when when a mo- like if she, when you were fifteen, and you had a kid, right, and you couldn't back in the Philippines, you couldn't. You know what I mean? You would probably give it up for adoption, right? They have it in the Philippines. They have it, and they put it outside. They let it run around. Oh, that's right. Till somebody true. grabs yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If you, but but I'm saying his yeah. circumstance. It's his right to feel like he doesn't want to go fucking meet those people. Hmm. I totally stand with him. Good for him. If he. He's not being mean. He just chooses not to go see them. His family to him were the people that raised him. Mm. Because, dude, let me tell you something. As yeah. a guy who came from somebody yeah. whose biological father never raised me, uh-huh. my stepfather did. Yeah. That's my dad. My stepfather mm. is my dad. He mm. was my dude, he was everything to me. Uh. My biological father is a guy that had me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not talk to him? We do occasionally. Is he, he have red hair? In California? No, does he have red hair? No. Where do you get your red oh, hair from? Your mom? He, yeah, my mom's side. Oh, yeah. My dad's yeah. Sicilian. I know she is. My last right. name's Santino. I know she is. It's right. really easy math to figure yeah. out where it comes from. What? You think a Santino had red hair? No. Right. Because they're Italian. That's right. <laughs> your mother had. That's right. And I remember that because I saw her vagina. So, anyway. <laughs> 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 Why did you get angry when I do that? I did like, nothing. I, 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 I faked it because you said something stupid. Pick up the art. I'm so sorry. So, I saw an episode this morning where. um. This young Hispanic couple, Cuban, you know, the the girl was 15, the husband was 16, they were in high school. And they had a kid. They had a kid. They gave it up for the adoption because they're kids. But then when they graduated, they got married and had like five kids, biological kids on their own. Oh, wow. But the whole time, they're thinking about the, the kid they gave up. Yeah. Right? Because they had that. And then when they find the kid, um, the kid... Um, DJs like her, his dad did. Like, there's certain. What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? He DJs like daddy. <laughs> what no, is that? How can you but DJ like your dad? But there's another one where a girl, a girl was found her biological dad. She's she has a she. Has, she has, <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. DJ like your dad. What a fucking bullshit. That's no, but bullshit. They, they have the same interests. Is what I'm saying. DJing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another girl who has an animal sanctuary, but then she finds her biological dad and he has an animal sanctuary too, right? So they have, fi- <laughs> so it's in the blood is what I'm saying. You think that's in the blood? Oh, you think it's just a coincidence? I do. Really? I do. I do. Okay. And can I tell you something? What? I can't wait for you to adopt. Will you treat my son or daughter with respect? Bully, bully, bully. I'm going to bully the shit out of your kids. <laughs> How about you? I'm going to bully them. <laughs> Air high five. Air five, yeah. No, wait, I, wait so really though, let's go back for a second. 
I'm not going to be mean because I love you. You're like family to me. You're like my little sister. Do you really want your own place because you want to be able to hang out with people your own age and have a boy come over? You do, don't you? Yeah. See? So you, listen, it's okay. You're, but, how old are you now? 20. So you, you want to, if you want to go on a date and hook up, you want a place to do it because you don't want to go back to their house. That's really what it is. No, I also just want to live independently. I know, but come on. You do want to be able to hang out with boys and not feel weird. Yeah, that's really what it but is. But she doesn't realize that. That's what it is. But she's she, 20. She doesn't pay rent at our house. She doesn't pay for really much of anything. How much is food. rent? Do you know how much rent is? That you're like, what would be your scale of renting an apartment? How much would it be? Uh, I was looking it up. It was like almost like 1200 to 2000 That's about right. You think you can afford that? And that's that? with a roommate. Yeah, with a roommate. Can you afford that? No. Right. So right. what are we talking about here? Who's going to pay for it? I don't know. But <laughs> okay. I'm saving. You're saving. But what I'm saying is is that even when you save, right, and you have to pay, you don't know the roommate usually sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah, 1400 a month. Right. They're annoying the as fuck, right? They probably they play their music really loud at four in the morning. You're not going to have the dogs or the cats. You won't because they're going to be with us, right? You're going to be very lonely. You're not going to be able to eat whatever you want to. You can eat whatever. We, we go to whatever you want, I say. You want La Merch? We'll go to La Merch. You want a Boa Steakhouse? We'll go to Boa Steakhouse, right? For I free. Can, I can just eat McDonald's. Look at that. Yeah. 790 square foot average is 2500 a month. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> so, so you think if, be free. You, if you eat McDonald's and you don't have a car payment and you live with a roommate mm. and you... Penny pinch. And What's penny pinch? It's when if you'll sit in your room and you grab two little penny, two little <laughs> coins, and you just squeeze it. Squeeze it. You make you. more money? You make more money. That's how yeah, more yeah. money comes out. That's where it comes from. Well, the penny angel comes. <laughs> Have you ever seen a penny angel? Show her the penny angel. Yeah, it's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, not real. Yes. It's it, folklore. Yeah, no, it's but a it's, wives' tale, but if you pen, you know her pen, penny pincher? You pinch it hard, tight, and a penny angel comes. Okay, so see that little symbol? That's a penny angel. That's a penny angel. So the penny angel will come into your room and go, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm the penny angel. <laughs> right. And, 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 and it says to you, how many pennies would you need? Yeah. And what do you say? But why penny? Can I get like 50 bucks each? Well, no. Yes, if you tell me how many pennies <laughs> is in 50 bucks. Yeah. So you have to tell her the math. If you tell her the math, she'll be able to give it to you. Can also, I get the like 10,000? 10,000 sure, 10, pennies? <laughs> yeah. How many monies is that? I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so you have to do math? Yeah, well, bitch. Yeah, I, what the fuck? You think money is free? And she doesn't have a lot of time because there's probably 10 million people at the same time penny pinching. Yep. <laughs> she has to go to, you know what? The penny angel, the penny angel is carrying not only pennies, but other denominations for other fucking countries. Obviously. He's got rubies. He's got he's fucking pesos. Yeah, whatever the angel is, no, right? It's whatever it is to you. It doesn't the, have to be. So it's, it's thousands it's and thousands and thousands of pounds of just coins she's flying around. So and she only has a second. And you fucked up. You fucked up. I'll you, just stay with you, Bobby. Oh, good. That sounds <laughs> good. Forever. Not forever. Well, well, forever. As long as we need you to be at his yeah. house, you'll be at his house. Yeah. I won't take care of your kid. You will? No. I won't. Why? Because it's your kid. Yeah, but it's your kid if you're living in a house too. It's your little brother. If I have to go to the comedy store and do a set, you got to take Kalilah's care of the kid. out of town, right? What do I do? Should I get a babysitter? You're a fucking babysitter. No, I'm gonna take care of the dogs and the kid and the kid. No, that's not my. Well, here's the fix, dummy. Put the kid on the dog, <laughs> tie it to it, or duct tape it. Yeah, and then let them watch each other. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Yeah. You just put duct tape on the kid and duct, its, duct tape its hands and its legs to the dog and let it roam around. The dog's big enough. Or mm -hmm. well, what about this? Why don't we duct tape the baby to your body? No. That's yes. a fucking great That's idea. That's great. No. We duct tape it. What if you stick it in your body? Whoa. <laughs> this whole thing, though, it's, it's, it's bothering me. What is? You're a bull in a china shop. Have you ever heard that phrase? How could a bull even get in a china shop? The doors are... What do you mean? Can they fit in the door of the bowl? Of course, there's a double door. Has Every a China bowl shop ever has... been in a China shop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's never, it's never happened. Well, first of all, I've never... Have you ever been in a... I'm not saying a pure Warren Imports or Bed Bath & I've Brian. been to a China shop. You've been to a China shop where they only have China... People. Chinese no, not Chinese food. people. Not Chinese people. The, the, the dishes and stuff. 
Yeah, at a Chinese restaurant. No, 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 no. A China shop is different. <laughs> no, it's not. What is the difference? <laughs> a China shop sells dishes and stuff. The only recorded incident I know of which was a bull was deliberately, deliberately introduced to a China shop was one engineered by a famous American publicist and press agent, Jim Moran, who in January 1940 led a bull through a New York City China shop as a publicity stunt. So it did happen. One time. That's insane. That's enough for me. And and then now we use it as a... A turn of phrase. Yeah. yeah. I got to tell you, you could put a bull in a China shop. I'd yeah, rather put it in a Korean shop. <laughs> That's rude. Why? Well, you think we're going to eat it? <laughs> 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 what do you think bull tastes like well I, i'm sure bully bull is a male cow's probably delicious yeah right yeah well no it actually no because there's probably not enough fat mm. it's probably more muscle than but fat. we have in, in this restaurant we go to um Sun, sunundang sunundang you've been there yeah have you really yeah in koreatown yeah yeah on western um they have we get the oxtail soup oxtail soup is really, really good. good yeah that's it's, really good shit you like that mm -hmm. you do so you're okay with that kind of stuff yeah but you don't like most Korean food? I like Korean food. That's not what you said to me off camera. That's Let me ask you something. Doc said that. What's better? What's oh, better? Doc doesn't like it. What's better, Korean food or Filipino food? Be honest. Korean food. Yeah. Yeah. What is Filipino food anyway? Filipino food is very delicious. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> when we went to that island, remember we went to that island in the Philippines? Yeah. And you go to the beach and there's this gigantic table probably double the size of this, right? <laughs> And there's a fish on there and other stuff on it. There's no plates at all. You should eat with your hands? Yeah, and, and they just go, dig in. And you just eat with your hands and eat. That's kind of cool, though. It's cool. Because cool. why get cutlery? Gets, so it's like you have to wash all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like eating with my hands. I don't know why we don't eat with our hands all the time. And, you know, there's and the, enzymes the, the, in your hands that, that are good for you. You know that, right? And they also have Michelin star quality restaurants. In the Philippines? In Cebu, yeah. Wow. Really great restaurant. You've never been. No. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't. You don't deserve it. They're afraid to, you know, in, in the Philippines, they're afraid to go into what? Because they think it's too snooty. The shower? Oh, Starbucks. <laughs> oh. They won't go in. That's for rich people. How, is it expensive? Kind of. And like, the people that go there are like the rich people. What are the rich people? What did, Like, what is that? What does that even mean? Like, someone that owns shoes. two goats? Shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That, at I the same get... time I said two goats <laughs> yeah, yeah. they have shoes yeah. hey I saw Batman by the way finally we can resolve this I saw it <laughs> when did you see it I finally saw when did you see it the Batman two nights ago who did you see it with by myself Tracy didn't go your Tracy, wife Tracy didn't go <laughs> okay and it was pretty fucking dog shit <laughs> <laughs> stand by my word Samson Simpson it was mm. trash. It's so funny. A guy on Twitter said, and I have it because I responded to him. I saw. I responded to you. You did you? Yeah. What did he, he say? He said, I was siding with Andrew, mm -hmm. and then I saw it, mm -hmm. and he said, I think it's the best one yet. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one guy on Twitter. No, a lot of people are saying that. But and you said, you really, I'm always right, what did and you, Andrew's what, what always did you, wrong. What did you not like about and it? And I responded, Bobby's always wrong. What did you not like about it? <laughs> Thank you, Jules. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the wong. What did I not like about the movie? That we've talked about it for like five weeks straight. I think we've talked about it every episode for the past I know, but you weeks. finally have seen it, so now we can get a real... Don't care about it. It was bullshit. Okay. It was bullshit. And I didn't Nothing, like you, none of the performances were good? Nope. Okay. Nope. 85. Mm. No I don't I, actually, the only score I trust is audience. I don't trust the tomato meter, so 88 is pretty good. Yeah. Um, what was Dark Knight? 94. Jesus. You're welcome. Mm. Not even close. That, that, the Dark Knight was so fucking good, it can't be touched. It the, can't. Fancy? I agree. It, it is so fucking good. It, it's amazing. And it's this new so one, is, this new one is just because you want, we all wanted another one. It's not because it's that a, good. You never saw it. I did. There's no way you did. I did. I saw it two nights ago. Okay. You, nothing about it. The, let me ask you this. Don't do any spoilers. I'm not. But the chasing you didn't like between. The Batman and who? Great. The chase scene was great. Between who? The chase scene was great. <laughs> Between Batman and who? Batman and Robin. <laughs> you never saw it. You fucking asshole. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You never saw it. It was the Riddler. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it, it was the Riddler. No, it wasn't. It was the Joker. No. <laughs> 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 you didn't see it. Why it was, would you lie? It was Poison Ivy. Why didn't you just watch the movie? 
Yeah, no, it was the penguin. Why didn't you just watch the <laughs> it movie? It was the penguin. I just said it. It was the penguin. It was the penguin. Yes, I just said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you. I there said was it. nothing about it you liked. It was fine. How come you didn't get cast to play the penguin? <laughs> You literally are a penguin body, and I'm not being rude or diminutive. You actually have a penguin body. It's perfect. <laughs> Bring him a picture of a penguin right now, please. You think I'm being rude? I'm being genuine. You don't think you look like a penguin? I look like a fucking leprechaun with this green shirt on. You don't think that looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a fucking leprechaun. You don't think you look That's like a penguin? That's what I look like. Okay. This show should be called when The I Leprechaun drink and the Penguin. Six shots of espresso, but not normal. That's 100% Bobby Lee. Look, oh, go to the one with the hair slipped back. The yellow hair slipped back. <laughs> yeah. Left, left, left. There. Bobby Lee. <laughs> that is me. Profile. Bobby Lee. That's true. <laughs> that is 100%. <laughs> Jules no, loves no, no. it. You're the penguin. Yeah, I'm the penguin. All right. So I should have got cast. <laughs> you should have been the penguin. Yeah. The um, Batman, the new Batman movie was great. It was great. You did like it. Yeah, but it wasn't the Dark Knight. I know, but it's still, when you walked out. No, but would, it wasn't the Dark Knight. Would you watch the next one? If it, if uh, actually, would I watch? I would want to watch it with another different Batman. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't like Robert Pattinson? I went into it with bias, but you didn't like him. I thought he was great. He, dude, he's a great actor. I didn't want him as Batman, so in my mind, I already fucked it up. I know, but it's like you can still change your mind and go, "I was wrong." The problem with you, in always, is that you are stubborn. Mm. You're a very stubborn. No, person. I'm not. Yeah, and you're revengeful. <laughs> Current. Hey. current is the future of banking. It really is. You can spend, save, and manage your money better with the current app and their debit card. They Benefits include earn points on every swipe, redeemable for cashback rewards, no ATM fees on over 40,000 in network, all point ATMs in the US, overdraft up to $200 without overdraft fees, helpful spending insights, and budgeting tools to keep better track of spending. This is the current card. They sent us these things. Current members are now able to earn 4% annual percentage yield AP. Why on savings at 60 times the national savings rate average. That's pretty impressive. And any member who signs up for current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pod and enabling the interest feature. Remember, we partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right. Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners to our show. All you have to do is download the Current app at current.com slash badfriends for a chance to win. That's pretty incredible. You can win some money. Remember, that's current.com slash badfriends. Winners will be awarded April 1st, so don't wait. No purchase is necessary to win. Purchase won't increase chances of winning. Void where prohibited eligibility restrictions apply. Visit current.com slash badfriends for full terms and conditions. Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking service provided by Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial Group member FDIC. The current annual percentage yield variable may change at any time. Terms and conditions apply. Roman! Hey. I, I have ED. I know you do. I, I don't like to admit it. It's not that big of a deal. It millions and millions of men. In fact, so many people have ED. It's more common than most people think. 52% of men between 40 and 70, that's your age range, will experience <laughs> some form of ED. Right. And I'm going to say something right now. I was really sad about having ED, but now I'm on Roman, right? And I... Boom. It's, it's, it's hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. Like the, the wrestler, the rock. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's hard yeah. and Wayne strong Johnson. as the rock. Yeah. Hey, the benefits of ED treatment can help you reconnect with your partner and rediscover the joys of sex or with yourself. doesn't matter if you're with somebody. You can also get harder for you, you know? With Roman, you can get on a free online evaluation and ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, it ships to you free with two-day shipping. What more do you want, dude? Getting started started is so simple just go to getroman.com slash bad friends complete an online visit take care of your ed without leaving comfort of your home complete an online visit today connect with a u.s licensed healthcare professional and take care of it go to getroman.com slash bad friends today if you're prescribed you're gonna get 15 dollars off your first month of ed treatment make sure you're ready to have confidence and it's control this year get roman ready getroman.com slash bad friends last week i did something we were doing comedy back to back right what are you talking about at in, the, in the main room. Oh, yeah, at the and store. And when they were bringing you up on stage, I would block you from going on stage. <laughs> Time out. Stop, 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 stop. Let me finish my Let thing. me fucking finish. I, I wasn't even done talking. You can't fucking interrupt me. But you have to say something that's correct. Three weeks in a row, three weeks in a row, we're in the main room, green room, and Bobby blocks the door from me going on stage. <laughs> and then I have to fight him on it. And then he goes, stop, you're hurting me. When you fucking <laughs> block me from going on stage, right? And then so last night is what you're talking about. Yeah. Then I held you from getting on stage. That's called that's being your revengeful. That's paying you back. That's that, that, that's like payback is your deal. What do you mean revenge and what payback? What would I do? Let you just not let you get away just with let it? Let it go. Oh, fuck. That's my thing. What's your thing? Blocking people. <laughs> You're a hack. You're I'm a steal. 
I steal what? You steal pranks. You steal other I things. I stole you blocking. Yeah, things. that's my thing. Oh, that's your bit. My essence. Oh, that's your bit. That's my bit. Oh, I and get it. And you did the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. It was so dumb. <laughs> and also, can I just say something? You want to talk- Keenan was in the audience. You want to talk about- I needed to go up on stage. You want to talk about dumb? You want oh, to talk you're about gonna dumb? Bro- if you're going to bring, bring up something-, up something- if you're gonna bring, bring up something, something. I'm, gonna I'm gonna bring, bring it up back too. Soon. Okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> so last night I was gonna go up on stage and you go, How does it feel like, buddy? Yeah, I said, How does it feel, yeah, bitch? Yeah. How does it feel, you little fucking bitch? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, number one, and I can tell it you were shook. weird because first of all, it, it, people that haven't seen us back to back, like in real life, you're six foot something. Six one. I'm five <laughs> one, two. That's ten feet. Four eleven. Twelve feet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm way taller. Yeah, and so you're a bully. Because I can't get through you. You can really get through me. I couldn't get through yes, you in you the main can. room. You set, you're I'm little, a penguin, apparently. I, you're wide you as shit. You can't wipe out a penguin? You're as wide as the door. It's hard to get around you. You're like a fucking doorstop. How do I get around that thing? Jump All right, so him. what I'm saying is- It's like putting a fucking bowling ball. You're a bully. What you did last night was bully. You started it. It's my prank. It's not a prank. It's what a little man does. It's what a little man does to the big man. It's because the little man but, feels but, insecure, and that's your problem, exactly. not mine. But the big man? So go outside. When the big, when the big man does the little man, it looks weird. You, by right. the way, you yeah. start that stuff at the store, and Bobby had a fucking phenomenal set last night. It was a little annoying. Oh, dude, the other Kenan night- Thompson came to watch Bobby, watch Bobby crush Keenan Thompson. Shout out to that fucking dude. He's a comedic genius. One of the genius. nicest guys. I think he's one of the best comedians that's ever graced that show, and I'm not placating. I actually mean that, because every time I see him, I'm always like, God, that's he's so... It looks like he's having fun, whatever that means. Yeah. It looks like he's having a good time. But he watched you. And well, then, first he came up. Then he left. I was in the parking lot. He gave me a hug. Gave me a hug. Big hug. He goes, how you doing, man? I go, good. What is that? An impression of Keenan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I go. Um, there he is. Do you know him? Yeah, from SNL. Yeah, she watches SNL. So Keenan comes up. He gives me a hug. And he go, and I go, um, oh, you're going to watch? He's like, I'm going to watch you. So he comes in, right? And, you know. He blocks me from the stage yeah. to go up. Yep. So Keenan's in the audience. Keenan doesn't know that. And I'm trying that. to get up. <laughs> I'm tr- I know, but I'm trying to get up, right? Which fucked me up. You still did great. Well, I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a pro. Okay. Right? And then um, because you blocked me, when I left the stage, I go, Keenan. What does that mean? Let's leave the room. <laughs> oh, because I was going on next. Yeah. That's good. I wanted him out of the room. Mm. I was actually telling someone, I go, can you get those guys out of the seats, out of the room? Can I say, I have another resentment towards you. Please. Don't, uh, what? When we talk about real things, don't roll your eyes, dude. Okay, you say out of nowhere, I have a resentment towards you. What do you want my fucking reaction to be? Be curious to see okay, what it, say it is again. so you can resolve it. Say it again. I'll be curious. Go ahead. And out of love. Say it again. I have a resentment towards you. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> do the, oh, I roll. It's better. Okay. Yeah, it's more organic. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. I have a resentment towards you. What is it? Okay, good. <laughs> what did it? So, you went up in the main room, and and I don't know why, but at the comedy store, Emily in the main room thinks that it's just better to put me after him. Yeah, yeah, it it's is not. It is rhythmically. No, it is. I don't think so. It works better. And you know, you've been doing way more stand up than me. And I have to admit right now, and I think you'll like this. I will admit this to the world. You're a better stand up than I am. You have better jokes. It's just we're different. Dude, it's I don't know what you're doing right now because this is the kind of shit I, I said, that you agree with. Thank you. That's not on camera. You would say something else. No, I wouldn't. But he, yeah. No, I would say you're a fucking liar. Thank you for saying something nice, but I, we're very different so, comics. So that's true. Yes. But the other night you crushed hard. I did okay. <laughs> I fuck it. It's like Okay, okay. I did you great. You crushed hard. It was good. Right. You brought me up. Yeah. Pretty good intro. I give you always good intros. Great. But I give better ones because I said I love you last night. Okay. <laughs> you never say love. Because. You never say, I say I love him to the audience. Doesn't get a laugh. You want to get a laugh. When I bring you up, I'm very sincere. I go, I, I love him. And then that you know that because when you went up on stage last night, you go, that's really nice that you said that. I said that was very nice. Right. But you never say that about me. What do I say about you? I say nice so, stuff. I love you. I say this guy's I fucking really amazing. He's him. one of my best friends. We do a so podcast my point together. Is, so I, when you went up crushed, right? <laughs> yeah. And literally for a minute, silence. What do you mean? Oh, when you got on when stage? When I went up. No. Yes. Yes. I couldn't get it going. So then I'm like, oh. now because it's you that crushed. And and also like half the like quarter of the crowd are bad friend fans, 
So now I'm going, oh, no, no, oh, this is terrible. This sucks, <laughs> right? And then I just started spinning. And the, the only way I could get laughs is riffing. Well, you killed. So I had to riff to get some laughs. It ended up killing. And so. then afterwards, when I came up to you, I go, and I told you my thing, you mocked me. What? <laughs> I go, I, I go, dude, because I, I really did eat it. I came off a switch. I was sweating. <laughs> and I, you know how your heart pounds. You're like, it. what the fuck just happened? It. It's right? all happened to us. And I go, I just ate it. And you're like, oh, fuck you. No, you didn't. Not mock me, but like brush me aside. No, I was saying to you. But then I realized. Let it go. Fuck but it. What no, I realized didn't. later, the reason why you did that, because you ate it in the original room. I did bad. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. That it was really embarrassing. It wasn't embarrassing. It I just was didn't do bad. I didn't have a shut I'm so up. Sorry. I didn't have a good set. <laughs> I heard it was the worst. Oh, who said that? <laughs> Whoever was on the lineup. Who was on the lineup? <laughs> Mark Marin. Mark said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he doesn't. He just goes home. Yeah, yeah. He tinkers with his cats. Yeah. Shout out to Mark Marin and his fucking cats. Love him. <laughs> oh, so do you know where Andreas's regular street clothes is? We could take it so we can just have to walk around. These are his regular street clothes. <laughs> That's insane. After you pass your citizenship test, you have to wear that. Right. Oh, I did not know. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's funny to... It's funny because I keep looking down at where your penis <laughs> should be. Yeah. But there's almost nothing there. It's like a Barbie doll. It's a, it's a Ken. No, you could have said Ken doll. Same thing, but yeah. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. Ha first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. It's your fucking birthday. It is. Bobby and I spent an enormous amount of money on your gifts. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. All yeah. American yeah. gifts. Too, like about seven months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, six, but yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah six, yeah. We don't, let's not get, we'll exaggerate. I'm excited. All right, Thank well, you let's guys. open yeah. some of your gifts because it's your birthday. We're excited for you. This one specifically, you. this first one right, right there is specifically from Andrew. <laughs> That's This is from me. Yeah. Yes, this is true. This is actually yeah. from me. Yeah, Very funny. Oh, wow. Yep. And he got you. Oh, did the little American boy get a ball? Yeah, <laughs> it's a no. It's a football kiddo. I mean football. Yeah. Let me see you throw it, buddy. Let's see you throw it to Big Big Red. <gasps> really good, sweetheart. Wow. Man. Put your hands out. Let's see me throw it to you back. You ready? Can you catch this? <laughs> yeah. Nice. And, oh, and you can talk to it like in the movie Castaway. It's a <laughs> Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's your first American boy gift. Wow. How do you feel about that that brown ball? Good, good. Honestly, I've I never been able to... wide ones. What? I like the wide ones better, but it's okay. Throw it to me. Yeah, he likes them when it's wide. I Honestly, this... Do you put your fingers in here like this? Yes. Yeah, and the like, laces. How do you throw it like this? You throw it like this and spin it. <laughs> They're very good. Here, let me see. Yeah, I don't know how to spin it. Little American boy, right, I know. But here's coming at you. <laughs> slowly! Don't that's don't what you get for calling my friend. Oh, slowly! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah slowly. <laughs> There it is. Let yeah. me see. One yeah. more time. Right here, right here, right here. Wait, how do I? La laces and then right there. Nice. Oh, Fuck. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Inches away from really good. This is how you do it, all right? Do it, do it. Hard as you can. Hard as you can. Don't, don't. No, no. <laughs> Stop! <You're> fucking... <laughs> no. All right. American boy, you got your little footballs here. All right, here. so Happy. that bag right there is for me. Go ahead. This is from you? Yeah. This is from Bobby. Yeah, that is me. true. The second, this big one. And is Andrew will explain it because he knows. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Do you know what this is? Diabetes. Yeah, this is corn syrup. So this is <laughs> one right. of our favorite things as American citizens. We love it. We love this stuff. Yeah. Hint of vanilla. So in the morning, I know you're going to think this is crazy because yeah. it's not in your test. This is kind of like, you know, kind of like when you learn Spanish, but there's street Spanish and then there's school Spanish. Right. So this is an American thing they don't t talk about. We take a shot of this every morning when we wake up. Oh, cool. Here's also Every what morning. we do at nights. We, 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 you know that your ice cube tray? Yeah. You replace your water with that. We freeze it, right? Yep. And you just stick a cube in your mouth while you're falling asleep. That's right. <laughs> right? So it just you can get a taste of it throughout the night. You can also use it for lube. That's right. Very good lube. Right. This ne the, so the, fir the small red one is from Rudy. Is that's that from Rudy. That's Let Rudy. me see. And Rudy will explain why. But I'm not an American citizen. It doesn't matter. Rudy Shut will explain why up, you give Rudy. it. God, yeah, damn, God it. damn it. What is that, Rudy? Uh, protein. Whey protein <laughs> and a little weight. And why'd you give it to that to him? Because fancy needs to lose some weight. No, well, that would... <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let me see you do some curls. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Can I teach you how to do curls? Put yeah. that stuff down real fast. Put them both down. I'm going to teach you the easiest way. P put the protein down. This is the. I'm going to tell you the, the proper form to do curls. Put your hand like this. And now, like, grab like a Coke can, okay? Now, put it up, up above your head, and then, like, put, okay, and then go like this, ah, like that, and then uh, shake a salt shaker into your mouth. That's it? That's it. That's <laughs> how you lift weights. <laughs> okay, Got next it, yeah. gift. Wow. 
Are you so happy you're getting all these gifts, I'm, little American so boy? Happy. This one's from Pete. This is from Pete. And uh, this is from Pete and Carlos. And Carlos. Oh, nice. Nice. Who is that, Jules? Um, so fucking fun. I knew she wasn't going to know. <laughs> yeah. Who is that, Jules? The greatest American hero in history. Period. Yeah. Period. In terms of music, fought yeah. in fucking World War One, Two, <laughs> and Three, <laughs> and Three, and Three, <laughs> and the three. future one that's gonna come up. This guy's a fuck. This guy is, yeah. Dare I say, the boss? Yeah. Mick Jagger. Mick <laughs> fucking Mick Jagger. Jagger. You got it. Yeah, you got mm-hmm. it. That's Mick Good Jagger. Good job. We love Mick. My God. Name one of his songs, Mick Jagger. That guy. What's one of his fucking songs? <laughs> Footloose. 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 That's right. Footloose. Footloose by Mick Jagger. Kick off and the Sunday shoes. shoes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You don't like that it's embarrassing. I don't <laughs> because, know. I know, but you know Dua Lipa. You know the Jonas Brothers. Why would those information be in what your head? Is and that? you don't know who the fuck is embarrassing. Hey, it's his birthday. That's the right. trying to open bad. up gifts. What do you got there, buddy? What does my little friend have? Beef jerky and cigarettes. Yay. Yay. And a gun. gun. <laughs> Welcome Yay. to America. Yay. Just dude, some things. This is what I was waiting for. Yeah, stick it in your mouth. Yeah, that's, a, that's <laughs> Well, that's the American way. That's the American way. So here's the deal. There's only a few people you can point that at. Mm-hmm. Your wife, oh. a cop, or yourself. Oh. That's it. That's it? Enjoy the gun. You do realize we started this show, yeah. Bad Friends, two years ago uh-huh. with a gun. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's with a right. Gun. That was fun. <gasps> what did you get? You, you got get? Dr- you got dip? <laughs> I got dip. Is that a tin of dip, buddy? Mm-hmm. Throw me that hoss. Do you know how to pack a dip? Do you know how to pack I this? have no idea. You've seen this, Fancy? You ever seen this? Okay, that's how you pack it. Mm-hmm. You never seen this? Never. Okay, so you put your hands like this and you use this hand as like a floppy... Do you see that? Yeah. And that packs the dip in. So go ahead and do it. Let's What's see. a dip? It's toba- It's tobacco. Oh. There it is. Let's see. <laughs> Very good, American boy. <laughs> what else did you get, kiddo? You got DVDs? Uh, bonanza. It's oh, great Bonanza. <laughs> TV show. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Kenny Rogers. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> so wow. good. Hits. So good. He won't take his music down from Spotify. <laughs> 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 All right, what else oh, do we yeah. got up there? Okay, I think this is my last Man, one. this is your last gift. And look at me in the face before you open it. This is actually from all the bad friends. This is from all of us. What is it? It's a porno mag, isn't it? Hustler. It's my favorite. That's a good one. This is before the internet, but yeah, thank you. That, what, what do you mean? That's post-internet too. Okay. Okay. Can I see the Hustler real quick? <laughs> I haven't seen one in a while, that's all. And a beer helmet. Yay. Um, all right fancy do you want to close out the episode and say thank you for all your gifts thank you why don't you look in that camera and then thank everyone for being a bad friend go ahead um yeah so thankful for being an american this (laughs) this country has treated me so well and thank you for being a bad friend I watched the Frank Sinatra documentary on Netflix. Did anybody see it? You, Bob, you would love this. It's I would never watch it. Really? I don't like him. You don't like Frank Sinatra? What the I, fuck? What the fuck does that mean? I what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Of course you do. Everybody likes fucking Frank Sinatra. I don't like, you know, how they, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, what? That. What is hey, that? Hey, baby. I don't like it. You don't Me like either. that, baby? I don't like it, baby. You know what I mean? I don't like the whole suit thing New York yeah I don't like it. the music sucks fuck you so, <laughs> New York I don't give a fuck about no New York right what do you want to sing it about California love <laughs> da, na, na, da, 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 he wrote that da. song oh he did Frank Sinatra <laughs> yeah. California love I honestly love. don't like it. no he's a good dude no I, I no, I'm sure he's a great guy no, I know nothing about but the, the Rat guy. Pack and the whole thing it's just not my thing why is that not your thing I don't like the music. I don't like <laughs> what they represent. I don't like what are they, they were chivalry. Racist. I don't like any of that. You don't like chivalry? No. <laughs> yeah, you like treating women like shit. No, I just opening up the car door. You have hands, bitch. Open your own car. That's the kind of attitude I like to hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Open- but not, not because of the thing is is that we're equals. What? Men and women <laughs> are equals. 
I view them in an equal playing field. That's why I say it. So they should pay for half of everything. They should open their own doors. I, I pay for things, you right? You pay for everything. Yeah, but I do it to dudes too. When? Like if I'm like if I'm going out with Andreas. Never happened. Never will. But go ahead. We've had dinner before, though. Yeah, and right. I, yeah, only because it was a bad friends dinner that I organized. All right, anyway, if I'm going out with somebody like <laughs> Carlos, which I have eaten Carlos with from this show. Yes. Not after an AA meeting, just regular. Maybe after an AA meeting. That, <laughs> that sounds be, right. Yeah. All right. Well, forget it then. Let me give you another name. Anybody. <laughs> Kind of hard to find another name. Isn't it? <laughs> it seems like no, you're like, seems like you're searching. My openers, like Fahim Anwar, back in the day. Love Fahim. Right. So actually, um, I want to tell a story. <laughs> Me and Swartzen went out to this place called Jinpachi. <laughs> it's a nice sushi restaurant, and we're like, "Hey, Bob, come meet us for <laughs> for dinner." And Bobby shows up. We've eaten already like three quarters of the meal. And Bobby's like, "Oh no, 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 no! Just I'll order when I get there." Bobby's late as usual. We're done. He orders a bunch of sushi. He has no idea how much we've ordered. <laughs> and then tr to trying to be cool and sweet and nice, which is very generous. Bobby's like, I'll get the tab. I'll I'll pick up the bill. And I was like, are you sure? Because, you know, and you had no idea. It was so expensive. It was like $580. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as he took the bill and then he opened up and, and he went like this. He went, what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that. Yeah, you I had did. no idea.